Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Pure Green Green Team Run. Last time we got our starter and evolved it, ran an errand for Professor Oak, and beat our rival twice. So this time we're going to make our way to Pewter City and acquire another Pokemon for the team. But first, eh, might as well watch the Tapture tutorial. We don't need to, but here. And yes, the old man glitch still works in this hack, but it's unnecessary because there is another way to acquire Mew. Um, we'll just have- we'll talk about that later, because there is something that you'll want to catch Mew for in the post-game. But, I'm not going to spoil that. But first things first... We need to go up here and... Well, actually, there's a bunch more Pokemon we can catch in the Pokedex, but... The main one we want is Caterpie. Because Caterpie and Metapod are usable under my rules. Butterfree is not. Unfortunately. Oh, come on. Which is annoying, but... That's just the way it is. Um, we seem missed. Whatever. Or, no, it didn't. And we're actually going to go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Otherwise, the Poison Flash is going to be really annoying. But yeah, as I said, I won't be able to use Butterfree because it changes its color from... The sprite of... The color of Sprite from green to blue when it reaches its final form. Anyways, I guess I'll skip ahead until I find myself a Caterpie. Okay, here's a Caterpie. Come on. Now, yeah, I know, using a Metapod. That's gonna be unironically using a fucking Metapod. The whole reason why I want it is just in case something happens to Ivysaur and it gets knocked out. That way, I have something that I can fall back on until I can heal. Got a Caterpie. Now, once again, we are not going to nickname it. And since it's poison, we gotta go back and heal. I'm also gonna do some off screen leveling up because it won't take me very long to evolve it. Level up, and now Caterpie evolves. And this is the highest form I'm allowed to use in this line. So, uh, yeah. I will be right back. Okay, so Metapod hit level 10, but we're gonna hit B rapidly so it doesn't evolve. Yep. That's how you do it. Here's we're gonna go back and heal. So yeah, we're gonna be using Metapod to go through Viridian Forest. Or at least just to save some power points, because... Really, I should have got rid of Growl for Poison Powder instead of Tackle, but... Still be. This trainer isn't here in the vanilla game, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, Gust has changed to a Flying-type move, whereas I believe in vanilla Gen 1 it's Normal-type. For some reason. And you'll notice that, uh, yeah, because OG Plus music is on, you hear a different victory tune when you beat a female trainer. This was actually cut from the finished game, if I recall correctly. And that's not the only tune that does that either. Is there any item over here? Yes, there is. Five antidotes. Not particularly useful for me, because my main Pokémon can't be poisoned. We're actually going to catch you. Nope. I don't think there's a hidden item here. I know there is an item there in the remake. I think there's a Pokéball there. And this would have been in vanilla red, blue, and green. In red, red, ah, fuck. In vanilla red, blue, and green or yellow version, that would have been your first non-rival battle. 
this bug catcher right here. Yep, it can't. So yeah, that's gonna save me, that saved me some power points. We're just gonna switch over to Ivasaur for the rest of the way through. There's a couple of other Pokemon I can get here that you can't in, uh, whatchamacallit. Well, actually, no, you can get Pikachu here, but you can, but in this hack, you can also get Venonat. Now, there are Venomoth with green sprites that you can get in a later part of the game, but you can't get those here. So, I might be able to use a Venomoth later. Uh, I was about to say, are there any more trainers? Uh, yes, there is, actually. So I need to go back and get power points. Be right back. Yeah, I'm really annoyed that I accidentally got rid of Tackle. Should have got rid of Growl. Whatever. Because there are Pokemon that I won't be able to use Poison Powder on. And, you know, Poison types. So that means Metapod's actually essential to save power points for Vine with. Over here, you get your hands on a couple of potions. Always useful. Alright, well now I have to switch over. Oh, that's annoying. Of course, it's poison type, so I can't use poison powder on it. Nope. You're not evolving. But if you evolve, I can't use you anymore. Anyways, moving on. And with that, we arrive in Pewter City. Oh, and over there, here's the Jigglypuff. You talk to it, it'll sing. If you're playing yellow version, that'll actually put your Pikachu to sleep for a second. But if you walk away from the counter, it'll wake up. Let's put these away. Yeah, I caught a Ven now on the way back. Okay, so... We're gonna get ourselves some more Pokeballs. Only two, but we need to have 50 coins, or 50 yen, I guess I should say. And I'll explain why later. But first, I'm gonna show you this guy. Now, of course, you normally this guy will take you back to the gym, so you're forced to fight Brock. There is a glitch you can execute to skip past him, which means you don't have to fight Brock until much later. It involves using save and just you have to have good timing, but it's not that hard to do. We're not going to do it this time, though, because I've got Ivasaur, so I've got no, I'm going to have no problems with Brock. We're talking to this lady. Because we got to go to the Pewter Museum. But first, there's a couple of items out here. Oops, not this way. Let's go over here. Up and around. And you get an iron. We're going to give Ivasaur. I don't anticipate having Metapod around for too long, because, well, it's not that great. It's just an emergency Pokemon. And then X Specials, which are actually very useful, because Special is both offensive and defensive in this generation. Hmm. Well, I would say I'm not a kid, but... Well, if you're going to charge me less for it, fine. Whatever. And over court over here we have the Space Shuttle Columbia, which uh Yeah. <laughs> In hindsight, that's uh 
kind of hard to look at because uh, Columbia came to a rather fiery end. Because NASA wasn't maintaining their shit. Okay, so yeah, this guy found the wallet, and we gotta battle him to get it back for that guy. I think this sprite was actually cut from the beta build for red and green. I'm not too sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and wrap... Well, the binding moves like wrap, bind, clamp, fire spin, they've been... They've been rebalanced. They're not entirely nerfed because they actually hit a little harder. But at the same time, they only bind you for two turns. Plus, they still have the one in four chance to miss. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna try that. Oh yeah, you have you have confusion. Never mind. Yeah, you aren't cool. You know you can actually catch the starter Pokemon. In fact, I think I think you can find Wall Bulbasaur in Viridian Forest, but they're really, really rare. Let me check. No, you find it south of Cerulean City. Never mind. But yeah, you can find the stars in the wild. And the second stage stars, too. But without further ado, now we go on to the main event. Battle with Brock. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot something. We have to go and actually hand over the wallet, because there's an item that we can get that's very useful. So yeah, you get an actual honest-to-god Abra that you can use to teleport to Pokemon Centers on command. And you can nickname it. It doesn't show the nickname in the bag, but it does when you use it. So we're gonna call you... Uh... I'm gonna call you Sabrina after the gym leader. Why not? And now, well, we're actually going to put you closer to the top because uh, this is actually a very good item to have. Yep. And see? And this takes us back to the Pokemon Center. Beautiful indoors. Going back to the gym. So first we have, let me see, did I put Ivasaur in the front? Yes, I did. Good. In Pokemon Clover, that's literally true. You step on a teleport, you fight him in another galaxy. Oh, and, uh... Pro tip. In Pokemon Clover, skip the battle with Brock. See what happens. We're actually gonna take that. We're gonna have, yes, we're gonna have Stun Spore and Poison Powder, because Stun Spore could be useful for support purposes. Yep. Now we fight Brock. Of course, Brock's ace is Onyx, but Onyx 
frankly, it sucks in the vanilla games, but in this hack, Onyx is actually pretty good. Mostly because its special stat is boosted quite a bit. So, oh, and its speed too, so it turns into a fast special tank, which is very unusual for a rock type. And it actually makes Onyx very useful. But we're not going to see that in this battle, because, well... Special tank or not, you're still going down in one hit. There's the boulder badge. If I recall correctly, that boosts your attack power. I don't know if the badge boost glitch was fixed in this hack or not. It might have been, it might not have been. If you don't know what it is, look it up on Bulbapedia or some other site like that. But basically, it's just a quirk of how Gen 1's programming works. Yep, Bide has changed to work like bulk up in later generations. So, uh, anyways. Pocketabra, wake up. Send this back to the Pokemon Center, please. It was like it's gonna be uh, an episode for now. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.